You know, whenever it's cold and windy and snowy, some people choose to just stay inside and not move off the couch. But a little blustery weather has never stopped Dave Edelman from finding a great meal. All right, so let's go through it, Dave. You, you, you look out the window in the morning, in the afternoon. You see that it's absolutely freezing cold out. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind? I feel fear, Danny, because my <laughs> condos in Chinatown and Upper Riviera Beach are very, very small. Yes. And they literally have no food because they eat out every meal. Right. So I'm scared to death of boredom and starvation. So I get out, no matter what, I head to a restaurant, okay. hopefully a place that's comfortable, maybe has a fireplace, big glasses for red wine, and rich food that can send me right back to hibernation. All right, so let's go through one of your favorite places. We're going to start in Boston. The name of the restaurant is The Salty Pig. Sounds like a good place to warm up, I got to say. Yeah, I mean, right up the alley of Phantom Gourmet fans who love bacon. Dinner. Sure. And they're doing house-cured meats in this really comfortable restaurant. So they make amazing hams and prosciutto and a selection of cheeses, uh, a beautiful selection of wines by the glass. They have some small plates and a few meat and pasta dishes. I recommend the pizza. Mm. It's a really tasty pizza. Uh, the basic margarita with fresh mozzarella. Definitely get a meat topping when you're in a place that's doing its own house cured meats. Sure, yeah. You got some salty pig right on top of one of those pizzas. Right. It looks absolutely delicious. Now let's talk about Cape Cod. Most people obviously go to the Cape in the summertime. Yes. They're going to the beaches, they're going to hang out. You like to go to a place in the Cape in the winter. It's called the Roadhouse Cafe in Hyannis. So you got to explain this one. Well, look, I, I'm way too impatient to deal with Cape traffic. I mean, okay. On the news, when they show those pictures of the bridge, I'm yeah. like, forget, forget I ain't no. going down. <laughs> so I wait till it gets cooler, and then I go to my favorite restaurants. And this is one of those places, Danny. Mm -hmm. Really comfortable, including an old school piano bar. They got antiques, fireplaces, great martini menu. Menu is huge from ribs to pizza to stuffed pork chops. I recommend here the surf and turf. Yeah. They have a few varieties of it, but one is really way over the top delicious. A sirloin steak with a baked lobster. Yeah, you look at this thing. I mean, the steak looks amazing. The baked stuff lobster, huge scallops just jammed yeah. right on top of this thing. Looks amazing. Now, when it's really cold, I like Italian food, that kind of real rustic, uh -huh. you know, soul-satisfying kind of a, uh, Italian food. And you like a place called Rustic Kitchen. I know there are two locations. Tell me about Rustic Kitchen. Yeah, one in Hingham and one in the theater district. A beautiful, comfortable restaurant. You can see the pizza oven. Yeah. So the heat is pouring off it. And this is a wonderful menu. I mean, I love their fried calamari with peppers and lemon mayo. They do here, though, an amazing pasta bolognese. Mm. I mean, it is so delicious and rich. It's cooked al dente, long egg noodles, which can really stand up to the sauce. And this is just one of those winter dishes, Danny, that's slow cooked with lots of meat and lots of flavor. Yeah, and, you know, and, the, and the egg noodles in this case, very important to that kind of comfort food kind of vibe. Now, we do have some huge breaking news here. We have the food out on the set, if you can notice, some of our favorite wintertime foods of all time, which yeah. is the Harrow's Chicken Pies. Explain the big news going on with Harrow's. This company has had an unusual growth trajectory. For 80 years, they were just, that's all they did. They were doing that. And then, all of a sudden, bang, they're opening stores everywhere right. because their chicken pie is so <laughs> amazingly delicious. It's now Harrow's in Medford, Saugus, and Tewksbury, and people south of Boston, their dreams have finally come true because they're bringing their chicken-making pie talents to... Yes. The town of Dedham. Right. Huge news. <laughs> Wally and Dan, the chicken pie guys. And besides that chicken pie, which you can order ahead or you can put in your freezer, yep. now they've got all the fixings with the rolls and the potatoes and everything else. On a cold day, Dan, there is nothing better than Harrow's chicken pie. There it is, straight from the man that is nice and cozy, Dave Andleman.